Good morning. On behalf of Judge Executive Doug Gorman, who is unavailable, is unavailable right now, unavailable, um, I'd like to call the Warren Fiscal Court meeting to order. This is a special call session on August 31st, 2023 at 9 a.m. Pursuant to KRS 67.040 subsection 2, due to Judge Gorman's um, unavailability, I would entertain a motion to appoint someone to preside over the meeting. I will make the motion that we appoint our Esquire Second District Tom Lawrence to preside over the meeting today. We have second. a motion. We have second. a we have a motion and a second. Any discussion or questions? <coughs> All in favor, say aye. Aye. And I'll turn it over to uh, Squire Uh, good morning. My name is Tom Lawrence, Second District Magistrate and Judge Pro Tem. I will be chairing our fiscal court meeting today, standing in for our Honorable Judge Doug Gorman. I appreciate the confidence and trust placed in me. I now call this fiscal court meeting to order. We will now have the invocation by Pastor Brandon Cannon from Real Life Church. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you for calling us to this ministry to serve you by serving one another. Lord, I pray for wisdom today. Your word says to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and to lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways to acknowledge you and you will direct our path. We pray for that today. We pray for wisdom. We pray for your goodness. We pray for you to have your way through us today. Thank you for choosing us for this moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We will now have the Pledge of Allegiance conducted by Scott Lastly. Please join me in facing the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Roll call, please. Esquire Cummings? Here. Esquire Williams? Here. Esquire McWhorter? Here. Esquire Lawrence? Here. Esquire Aldridge? Here. Esquire Lasley? Here. <clears throat> Item number four, approve the minutes of the fiscal court meeting on August 10th, 2023. Motion. Second. Motion by Esquire Cummings, second by Esquire Williams. Any further discussions or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Number five on the agenda, approve the work schedule for the Warren County Road Department. So moved. Motion by Esquire McWhorter, second by Esquire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. <laughs> Number six, approve personnel changes for Warren County. Motion. Motion by Esquire Aldridge? Second. Second by Esquire McWhorter. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number seven, approve second and final reading, reading of ordinance number 2357 WC rezoning property located at zero cadence lane portion from agricultural to residential, single family residential containing approximately 5.4 acres and presently owned by J. Allen Builders Incorporated CO Jody Allen. So moved. Motion by uh, Esquire McWhorter. Second by Esquire Cummings. Any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number eight on the agenda. 
approve second and final reading of ordinance number 23-58WC rezoning property located at 535 and 582 Pleasant Hill Road from RE residential estate to AG agriculture containing approximately 4.04 acres and presently owned by Tammy Weldon and David and Jennifer Maupin. Motion. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. <coughs> Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Number nine on the agenda, approved determination in the amount of $17,194 to Conrad Floors to screen and finish all gym courts at Phil Moore Gym, Ephraim White Gym, Buchanan Gym, and Old Alvin Gym. This is, is, this is at Kentucky State contract pricing. So moved. Motion by Esquire McWhorter? Second. Second by Esquire Williams. Any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. If there's no further, if there's any, uh, if, not, if there's no objections, I would like to move up number, number, number 18 in, pr in front of number 10 so we can go ahead and take care of some people we have in the audience. Item number 18, approve the special tourism projects fund request for the Bowling Green Area Convention and Visitors Bureau in the amount of 100,000 for the Aviation Heritage Park renovation and beautification project. Second. Should, uh, motion by Esquire McWhorter, second by Esquire Williams. Uh, Sherry Murphy will speak on this. Uh, and I think we also have a special presentation by uh, Mr. Joe Tenius on this museum in Hanger. So would you like to come up as well? Um, hi, it's great to see you all again. I know we're coming back to back on a couple of these requests, but um, as you can see, quite a few members of the Aviation Heritage Park Board are here. So, excuse me, I'm winded from running. Okay. <laughs> Parking was a challenge. Um, <laughs> um, this, um, these funds, let me just reiterate, come from the hotel tax. So it's not um, what I would call a local residential tax uh, that is um, being used today. But um, as you all know, so much work has been done out at the Aviation Heritage Park. So um, I'll let Joe kind of fill you in on what they're doing and what, what this money will be used toward. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Sherry. Um, and thank you to uh, Fiscal Court for giving us the opportunity um, as Sherry said, several of our directors are, are here with us today. Um, as you know, about uh, four years ago, um, Aviation Heritage Park embarked on this idea of building a museum at the park uh, in order to uh, expand and enhance the experience that we can provide as it relates to recognizing South Central Kentucky aviators. Um, I have, at each of your seats, uh, a handout that gives you some highlights and general information about the park and, and what we're doing. I'm not gonna read that to you, but just a few things I, I do want to highlight. We now um, recognize 30 distinguished aviators and have eight aircraft available to, to visit. Um, we have the museum near completion, uh, the CVB, was um, on board with us at the beginning to help us with the initial site development to start this project. We returned to them uh, a couple months ago to see if they could help us now with the final site work as we finish out the project. And that's the, uh, the money that, that Sherry is, is um, recommending today to come to us to help us finish out the site work around the building. Um, this new facility will make Bowling Green one of four communities in the United States to have a standalone aviation, automobile, and rail museum in their community. The other three are Los Angeles, Sacramento, and Philadelphia. So um, sometimes it's, you know, you're, um, you're recognized by the company you keep. I think that uh, it, it's very interesting that uh, we're, we're gonna be mentioned 
at the same time with these other three uh, large metropolitan areas. And, and I would say that um, our museum at Aviation Heritage Park is unique from any others in that we are about people, not just aircraft. Right. We are about telling the story of individuals who've impacted all of our lives indirectly. Um, you know, two of the honorees are, are sitting here today. Um, retired General Dan Cherry, retired Colonel Arnie Franklin. Um, you know, their, their service, as well as others sitting back there in that role, uh, are why we get to do what we get to do each and every day. And I think that that's the whole idea of Aviation Heritage Park, is to make sure those stories are never lost, never forgotten. And um, like I said, we're now up to honoring 30 individuals, and we know there are more stories out there yet to tell. Um, when we made our presentation to CVB, we have partnered with the Red River Valley Fighter Pilots Association, which is a national organization of nearly 5,000 members. Um, I believe Dan and Arnie are both <laughs> members of that organization. These are um, individuals who have served um, in uh, military aviation, uh, either as pilots or support personnel. Um, they were looking for a home. They had a lot of artifacts and nowhere to display them. Uh, so the mezzanine area of the museum will be their home um, in October. They will have their annual reunion here in Bowling Green. Um, and again, where do they usually go? They go to San Antonio. They go to large cities. They're coming here. Um, we anticipate 500 or more individuals here from October 10th through the 14th. And certainly we understand that that, that is all part of this grant, um, is to bring people, increase tourism. Um, it likely will not be a one-time event held here. We think we will be on a rotation that they will come back as well as individuals coming back. Um, October 12th at 2 p.m., they will have their opening ceremonies at the park. We will have our opening on Saturday, September 23rd at noon. We feel like that even though we are still a work in progress, it's time to let the public see what we already have and what we are going to have in the months and years to come at our museum. Um, one of the things I included, the back page of this handout, something that we have just recently been awarded, is a shuttle, 1 15th scale of the space shuttle. Um, this certainly will be used to um, recognize one of our honorees, astronaut Terry Wilcutt. Um, it's through the partnership and help of fiscal court that we're able to secure this because until we become a certified museum, a government agency has to be willing to, has to be the receiving agency. And through the past, over 15 years, you have assisted us in that way. You have been our receiving agency for these items that are on loan or that are being given to us. Um, you've been with us every step of the way. You've provided space at the park to let us become part of Basil Griffin Park. Um, I, I certainly want to thank Fiscal Court for all that support over the past 15 plus years. I want to thank Chris Cummer and the park staff for all they do to help us on a regular basis to help maintain the park in a, in a professional way that we want it to look, you want it to look, the way our community deserves for it to look. Um, the last thing I'll share with you, um, we will have a even larger event on April 16th of 2024, which will be the 15th anniversary of the park opening, and also, I think I'm correct, will be the 52nd, 52nd anniversary of General Cherry's uh, dogfight 
over Hanoi. And our hope is to have um, Hong Mi back here just as he was on April 16th of 2009 to help us celebrate that 15 year anniversary. So something else on the calendar that we can think will help us with tourism and bring more folks in. But we are, um, we're very appreciative of the CB, CVB's <coughs> support as we started and now, and we certainly could not be where we are today without the support and partnership with Warren County Fiscal Court. Be happy to answer any questions, but more than anything else, thank you very much for helping us get to where we are today. And Jim, I have one question. I'm yep. Just looking at your map, how many aircraft will we eventually be able to have out there? Looks like 20 or 25? We, we, we could. The master plan shows that we could have up to 12 additional aircraft. Now, the restoration team says, how in the world are we ever going to do that? Uh, and it, it certainly isn't something that's going to happen next month or next year or in the next few years, but we felt like we needed to have a plan for the use of that space moving forward. Um, we do have some additional uh, aircraft. Understand, we, we look for aircraft in order to support the story of an honoree. Um, we don't just go out and say, well, that looks nice. We're going to get that aircraft. It has to connect. It has to, it has to help us tell the story of one of our honorees. But yes, the master plan um, shows us then adding additional aircraft in the years to come. Well, I want to take a moment to applaud you all and your efforts for all the gentlemen sitting there, plus all the other thousands of people who've helped you in the past. This is a worthwhile venture. It's something that helps Bowling Green be unique and different. And I just want to say congratulations and look forward to what else we can do to help you. We appreciate it very much and hope all of you can join us on uh, September 23rd at noon uh, as we open up the doors. Okay. Turn it back over to Sherry. Did anybody have any questions about the funding? No, but I would like to say that we're very proud of the Aviation Heritage Park. It's just one of another reasons why Warren County Bowling Green is just an awesome place to live and it gets better all the time. Thank you. We have a motion in the second. Is there any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. <clears throat> Item number 10 on the agenda, approve emergency, emergency determination in the amount of $34,871.44 <laughs> to Stuart Ritchie Service Group for the replacement of a hot water boiler for the Warren County Regional Jail. Motion. Motion by Esquire Aldridge. Second by Esquire of a quarter. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 11 on the agenda, approve determination and authorize Warren County Jailer to sign a purchase agreement in the amount of 147 thousand dollars and one hundred forty seven thousand six hundred dollars to reassurance solutions llc of benton kentucky for the purchase of 24 class 2 medical sensors for monitoring inmates this project will be project will be funded by the warren county uh jailers canteen fund at no cost to warren county this is a single source vendor motion motion by squire aldrich second by squire williams any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 12 on the agenda. Approve emergency de determination in the amount of $8,775 to Night Electric for electrical work done to five LED lights that were out at Griffin Park. Chris, would you like to speak to this? He stepped, out. He, stepped, he stepped out for a minute. So moved. Motion by uh, Squire McWhorter. Second by Squire Lastly. Any further discussion or questions? I just, again, I'm sorry he's out of the room. I, I know it says that the materials were warranted. 
I guess is this just a labor only? I, I did ask him about that yeah. because when I saw it, I questioned it as well. Right. He said it had to do with wiring. So the material, the light bulbs themselves were okay. under warranty, but it was our wiring that was the problem. A majority of that cost was due to scaffolding that they had to rent to get high up to, to take care of it. So, And they had a tournament. That's why I was there. Okay. Busy. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 13 on the agenda, approve determination of the amount of $13,866 to Bluegrass <coughs> Ball Fields for the purchase of four football soccer goals for Moss Middle School and Ephraim White Park. <laughs> Three quotes were obtained. This was the lowest and best. Motion by Squire Lasley. Second by Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 14 on the agenda approve the 211 report for July 2023. Motion. Motion by Esquire Aldridge? Second. Second by Esquire McWhorter. Any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 15 on the agenda, approved determination in the amount of $14,542 to Uline for 24 steel box trucks for Parks and Rec to use in setting up for elections. This is a single source vendor. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter. Second, Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 16 on the agenda, approved first reading of Ordinance 23-59WC, rezoning property located at Zero Brookwood Drive from Agricultural to public containing approximately 20.52 acres and presently owned by Warren County Board of Education. So moved. Motion by uh, Squire Lastly. Second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lastly? Yes. Item number 17 on the agenda, approved first rating of Ordinance 23-60WC, rezoning property located at 6006 Mount Olivet Road, portion from agricultural to rural residential, containing approximately 4.01 acres and presently owned by Danny and Karen Hitson Estate, CO Patrick Hitson and Margaret Ellen Bertolucci. Good job. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Aldridge. Any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Mm -hmm. Item number 19 on the agenda approve the fourth quarter financial report for Warren County. Motion. Motion by Squire Aldridge, second by Squire uh, Cummings. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 20 on the agenda, approved treasurer's settlement for 2022 through 2023 fiscal year. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 21 on the agenda. Approve the July 2023 Treasurer's Report. Sorry. Motion by Squire Williams? Second. Second by Squire Aldridge. Any further questions or discussion? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. 
Item number 22, approved determination in the amount of $3,097.95 to Quarterstone Information Systems for annual IBM software and hardware maintenance agreement for the AS-400 computer system in the Treasurer's Office. This is a single source vendor. Motion. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire McWhorter. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lisley. Yes. Item number 23 on the agenda. Approve interfund transfers for Warren County. <coughs> Motion by Squire McWhorter. Second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 24 on the budget, uh, on the agenda. Approve budget transfers for Warren County. Motion. Motion from Squire Aldridge. Okay. Second from Squire McWhorter. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Uh -huh. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lyle. <coughs> yes. Item number 25 on the agenda, approve emergency determination in the amount of $11,070 to train for the replacement of an air conditioning unit compressor at Warren County Regional Jail. Motion. Motion by Squire Aldridge. Second by Squire, by Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Just want to commend Jailer Harmon with the work that was done and that, you know, when that time was down, they did everything they could to keep the inmates in good shape. So I want to send a special thank you for him and all the efforts he made during this time of the air conditioning being out. I agree with you. He's doing a good job over there. We have a motion to second. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item numbers 26 on the agenda, approve emergency determination in the amount of $2,717.60 to Scott, Murphy, and Daniel, LLC, for roof repair at Taylor Chapel Church. This was a second storm damage issue on a different section of the roof. Motion by Squire McWhorter. Second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 27 on the agenda, approved determination in the amount of $8,950.37 to Barron County Business Supply for Public Works Office Furniture. This is, is at Kentucky State Contract Pricing. Motion. Motion to Squire Cummings. Segment Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 28 on the agenda. Approve the termination in the amount of $31,444.88 to AAA Systems for installa installation of Wi-Fi security cameras at Buchanan Park and Ephraim White Park, softball and baseball complexes. This is, is at Kentucky State Pricing Contract. So moved. Motion by Squire Williams. Second by Squire Lastly. Any further discussion or questions? <clears throat> Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 29 on the agenda approved determination in the amount of 37500 to Lighthouse Auto Sales <coughs> LLC for the purchase of a 2017 Freightliner T23256 paid for by Stormwater. Three quotes were received. This is the lowest and best quote. So moved by uh, Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Yeah, uh, Josh, I don't know if you want to answer this question. Or Nikki, I'm sorry, you're the stormwater person. Uh, what's this truck going to be used for specifically? Sorry to make you walk so far. Dedicated going to be uh, hauling our equipment using our gooseneck trailer. We figured it was a little bit safer stopping and braking. We've had a 
an accident recently and we felt like we needed a little bit beefier equipment to help. That's what I need to know. To have safer equipment, Thank yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Nikki. We have a motion to second. Will you please read the roll? Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 30 on the agenda, approve emergency determination in the amount of $7,367.50 to IMI for concrete to repair a sinkhole at Stagecoach Drive. Motion. Uh, Josh, would you like to talk about this? Director of Public Works, Josh Moore, coming up here. <laughs> yeah, so um, what we've got here is literally a, a road collapse. Um, we had a section of road that continued to collapse numerous times after we repaired it. Um, we decided that this time, after fixing it several times and it keep growing, we would just dig it out all together. Uh, it was, took 45 yards of concrete to repair. Um, and just, just to be clear, you know, um, the reason this is an emergency determination and not a lowest and best with three quotes is because when you're pricing out things like concrete um, it's usually not the, the per yard cost uh, concrete's 160 165 dollars a yard um, but this was the only vendor who could provide us the material 45 yards of concrete when we were ready for the concrete so we did this as an emergency and not as a three quotes lowest and best because we may have been able to get concrete a dollar or so cheaper but it was a matter of time and having the road open and get it safe for the public, which is why we moved as an emergency. Any other questions? Thank you, right. Josh. Appreciate it. Motion. Motion by Squire uh, Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussions or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 31 on the agenda, approve determination in the amount of $8,699.99 to Hobby Dine Reed for repairs to the Kubota Motrium. This is a single source vendor. Motion. Motion by Squire uh, Lastly. Second by Squire Aldrich. <coughs> Any further discussion or questions? <coughs> Squire, just to clarify, uh, we had an error on that agenda item. That is actually uh, to a New Holland New tractor. Holland. Um, and that tractor is a 2004 model um, with about five or 6,000 hours on it. Uh, it's one we use for our Motrim. And one of the issues here and what the cost was as high as it was, um, was an injector pump on the engine failed as well as all the fuel injectors. Well, this vehicle or this tractor is so old, we could not source a pump. Uh, and it took almost a year to get this one in. So this, this tractor has been out of service for almost a year as we waited for parts to come in and be correct. So that's part of the reason the cost is as high as it is. So question, if we had to replace this tractor, what kind of dollars we're looking at? Um, for a, the tractor with a Motrim attachment, probably something over about 130,000. Okay. Hey Josh, are we doing some Motrim in then? We Motrim almost year round, yes. Okay. We have another Motrim. Um, so this tractor's actually been back in service a little bit, but we're just now getting the bills to get it back to pay. Yeah, we mow trim almost year round, uh, particularly right before school starts. The school bus garage calls with a lot of lower hanging limbs, so it's a, it's a, we, we always usually have a mow trim crew out almost year round. Okay. Do we have a motion and second? Yep. Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lassie? <coughs> yes. Item number 32 on the agenda, grant authority for Warren County Sheriff's Department to apply with life skills for a grant through the Cabinet of Health and Family Resources to support implementation of a community crisis co-response program. Motion. Motion by Squire Aldridge. Second, Squire Williams. Sheriff? If, if you don't mind, I'm, I don't I'm mind just going to cover a couple of things. I want to introduce uh, Dr. Karen Garrity. She's the Executive Vice President of Behavioral Health for Life Skills. So she is... Uh, <coughs> thankfully helping write this grant proposal and um, and so on this you know we we have a great partnership right now where we have a couple of uh, therapists that will respond uh, as per requested um, from us and it's been a, a huge asset so far this is just a little bit of a step forward this is something new that the um, that they are offering through the cabinet for health and family services and so the idea was is kind of make this a little bit more robust 
Um, but I, I did want to mention, and I think we have this primarily worked out, but if you look back in the paperwork, that there's a request on there that there's a planning time of this uh, where we receive a, a $100,000, and that's kind of the planning for it. And then there's the year one, two, and three, and they talk about uh, that there's a cost share on this. But we believe that, that through this cost share of a lot of these are in-kind contributions, we can either also show that the, the deputies who responded, their, their cost is part of that in-kind, and then with life skills uh, and their contributions, that there shouldn't really be a cost to uh, Warren County as far as a financial obligation on that. If I'm speaking correctly, Karen, would that be would that be right? You want to say anything? You want to say, come on up here. Say anything. This is her first time to hey. Warren County Fiscal Hey, court. welcome, welcome to court. I'm yeah. getting educated. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, thank you for calling me doctor. No. <laughs> oh, I, I, th I thought that you were. Ma master's you degree. You should. No be. PhD. You should be. Oh. Well, thank you. Um, so uh, this is um, being offered on behalf of Medicaid, this grant, and part of, I really believe that um, part of why this happened is um, that we were part of uh, the sheriff and Life Skills was part of an, um, an interview by a company um, that was doing research on this type of work for Kentucky. And um, Sheriff Hightower gave some really concrete, excellent examples of how the current program works and they um, they were very impressed by it and so they've issued this um, uh, grant opportunity and one of one of the things we can see is they want us to over the three years where it's actually functioning build in um, the ability to bill Medicaid for these contacts that happen out into, into the community that's why the cost sharing is smaller in the beginning and it grows each year um, because they're expecting us to be able to pay for the therapeutic staff through billing. Um, so, you know, that's pretty sneaky <laughs> on there. No, it's a pretty good um, plan for them. So, um, yeah, and the other, just the other thing is we would like to grow this program. We know Warren County is a large county, and when you just have two staff, it's hard if you have two things going on on opposite sides of the county. Um, and there may also be the possibility of moving um, some staff into second shift, you know, and um, just sort of the non-traditional um, work schedule, so. You know, the, the beauty about the co-responder, we had a gentleman uh, I got a call on. Uh, myself, I was visiting someplace, and, and this guy was walking down Cemetery Road, had, had no shoes on his feet. His feet were very swollen. And, uh, and really, he, he refused services that anything I could offer. Didn't want an ambulance, didn't want me to take him anywhere. And so anyhow, I had the co-responder come out. She was able to sit with him at the park and, and kind of work through that. So, so we really, I didn't have to tie up deputies' time as much. And, be, and, and there was somebody there that could really work through them. And sometimes it's getting them back into uh, treatment programs. Sometimes it's therapy. Sometimes it's additional other services for housing. So. There's a lot of things that, that we're, we're just trying to do, think outside the box on some different things to try to help with some of the people who are, are in, a, in a place of need. So, it, This is a really good program. I, I understand that, you know, people with mental health expertise become in extremely handy when you're dealing with somebody with a mental health issue. And because we just can't send every single deputy to a master's degree to learn mental health, but it's great that you guys are partnering with us to help out yeah. on that reduces that adversarial sure does sometimes when you see law enforcement you have somebody else come in plain clothes and talk to them and then but we re really really appreciate it so any any questions on this all right thank you yes sir thank you sheriff please read the roll Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Item number 33 on the agenda. Grant authority for the judge executive to sign the refund authorization statement for 2023 tax year for the sheriff's department. So moved. Motion to Squire McWhorter. Second to Squire Aldridge. Any further discussions or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. 
Item number 34 on the agenda, approve easement for school bus turnaround at 1465 Whipperwheel Trail. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 35 on the agenda, make part of the record, the 2020... 2021 property tax audit report for the Warren County Sheriff's Department. Motion by Squire Cummings, second by Squire Aldridge. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 36 on the agenda, grant authority to advertise for requests for proposals for fire department study and review. Esquire Aldridge has been taking the lead on this, so I'd like to have him stand up and, and uh, fill everybody in on it a little bit. So I wanted to give a quick explanation and overview uh, of what's taking place. So Judge Executive Gorman formed this committee back in April, uh, tasking us with repairing an RFP, a request for proposal, on identifying a consulting firm to assess our current and future needs in fire protection here in Warren County as related to our volunteer fire departments. This committee consisted of myself, Richardsville Fire Chief Brian Lee, Plano Fire Chief Kevin Bailey, Gott Fire Chief Jason Duckett, Woodburns Fire Chief Bob Skipper, and Alberton Fire Chief Mike Smith. We've met several times over these past few months preparing and reviewing this RFP. Now, the primary intent um, goal of this request for proposal is to retain a consultant that can conduct a study to assess whether existing levels of staffing, facilities, equipment, funding are adequate to provide a level of service within the county that is in line with the generally accepted standards and benchmarks for safety used by comparable fire departments in comparable communities and based on standards and best practices of modern day fire services currently in practice. Now, as everyone knows, uh, Warren County Fire Protection is currently served through nine volunteer fire departments. And I'd like to give you a snapshot of just how often they are called upon to protect and serve our community. So I wanna go over last year's and this year's um, data on calls of service numbers by department. And I know when somebody starts reading off numbers, it's kind of hard to take it all in, but just, if you will, bear with me for just a moment and, and listen to these numbers. Richardsville Fire Department, last year calls for service, 1,095. This year to date, 718. Plano Fire Department, last year, 517. This year, 357. The Alberton Fire Department, last year, 845, this year 588. The Hadley Fire Department, last year 106, this year 72. The Barron River Fire Department, last year 330, this year 211. The Woodburn Fire Department, last year 596, this year 442. The Browning Fire Department, last year 390, this year, 301. The Smith Grove Fire Department, last year, 441. This year, 275. The Gott Fire Department, last year, 352. This year, 250. So let me kind of compile that up for you real quick. Total last year was 4,672 calls for service. Total this year to date is 3,214. That's roughly 13 calls per day. And the amount of time that we've basically been up here to fiscal court on average, a fire department has already received a call for service. These calls are spread obviously throughout the county, throughout the departments. And at the current rate that we're already seeing this year, there will be a 15% increase in calls of service over what we did last year. I know we all agree that the men and women in our volunteer fire departments do an absolutely amazing job. And it is Judge Executive Gorman and Fiscal Court's desire to look now at hiring a consultant to see how we can continue to support these departments and protect the citizens of Warren County, both now and in the future. And the process can, can begin now with the approval to advertise 
this request for proposal for the Warren County Fire Department study and review. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter, second by Squire Cummings. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 37 on the agenda. Approve order 23-22 declaring surplus property for Judge Executive's office. Motion by Squire Williams. Second by Squire Cummings. Any further discussion or questions? Well, anybody would come take something from this <laughs> office. I would be very appreciative to come take it off our heads. Uh, I know this green carpet and so forth in there is kind of going to be retro and it might be worth something one of these but it is time for it to go. So. That's pretty insightful. <laughs> Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. Item number 38 on the agenda, approve order 23-23, appointing Benjamin Mohan to the Code Enforcement Board of Directors. So moved. Motion by Squire McWhorter. Second by Squire Williams. Any further discussion or questions? Please read the roll. Esquire Cummings? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams? Yes. Esquire McWhorter? Yes. Esquire Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge? Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley? Yes. <coughs> Item number 39, would the treasurer please uh, say the claims? General fund, $1,455,331. Road fund, $95,630. Jail fund, $440,617. Stormwater fund, $75,324. E911 fund, $13,168. And Fed forfeiture fund, $363. Do you have to answer any questions? Make a motion we pay our claims. Motion by Squire Cummings. Second. Second by Squire McWhorter. Any further discussion or questions? Please call the roll. Esquire Cummings. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Williams. Yes. Esquire McWhorter. Yes. Esquire Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Aldridge. Yes, ma'am. Esquire Lasley. Yes. Sheriff, do you have anything further for the court today? I just want to remind everybody, not this coming weekend, the weekend after we have LS Fest. So that whole weekend, I uh, think we know that uh, there will be a lot, of, a lot of folks in the community, a lot of busyness, and uh, I'm sure uh, a, lot of, a lot of signage and all that. So just want to give everybody that, that information. Thank you, Sheriff. Ms. Yates, County Clerk, if you got anything for us? Stephen Harmon, jailer, do you have anything for us today? He's on Zoom. Thank you, sir. Chris Comer, director of parks, do you have anything for us today, sir? Thank you, sir. Josh Moore, director of public works, anything else? Thank you, sir. All right. Nikki Kohler, director of stormwater. Holly Warren, are you on there? Thank you, Esquire Lawrence. All right. <laughs> Do you have anything for us today, Holly? Do not, thank you. All right. Ronnie Pearson, Director of Emergency Management. Do you have anything for us? I think he's just got off Zoom. Tommy Loving, Director of the Drug Task Force. Do you have anything for us, sir? Thank you, Tommy. Joss Hardy, PVA, do you have anything for us, sir? He doesn't look like he's on there yet. Uh, ben Peterson, Executive Director of Planning and Zoning, do you have anything on there for us, sir? Thanks, sir. All right. Mr. James Markham, Superintendent of the Courthouse, do you have anything for us, sir? Thank you, sir. Good. All right. Squire Lastly. Well, well, sir, I thought you did a heck of a job uh, stepping up and filling some pretty Thank big you. shoes there. That, uh, that that chair looks real good on you there. But uh, uh, one thing I would like to say is that uh, uh, obviously we've had a couple of beautiful days, and uh, uh, it was a beautiful day for the brick laying. Oh, it was nice. Uh, 
but the, uh, I'd really like to thank everybody in Warren County that works outside over the last few weeks, particularly the Warren County employees, parks and public works and all the folks that, uh, uh, it was brutally hot. And I think we owe them a debt of uh, gratitude. And, uh, so. Squire Williams. I'll second that about uh, you doing a good job this morning. I appreciate that. And Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. I think you've served yourself well up there. Thank you. Um, also, I'm wearing red today. Yes, you are. And that means it's football time for the Western Kentucky University Hilltoppers. They'll take on the University of South Florida at 2.30 on Saturday. That's the first football game of the season this year. So uh, go Tops. I think I've got this right, but you're about to have a birthday here in about two days, aren't you, Squire Williams? I am. Happy I'm, birthday I'm to glad you. to still be having them. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. When's your birthday? Saturday. Saturday. Right. All right. Squire McWhorter. You've done a great job. I was really worried about today. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was too, Rex. <laughs> oh, goodness. Squire Aldridge. Again, thank you for the job you've done today. I would like to make mention and, and have everybody write down on their calendar, the, uh, the Browning Volunteer Fire Department will be having a fish fry to benefit uh, one of our firefighters, Mr. Ronnie Flynn, who has been battling throat and neck cancer. Mm. Uh, this benefit fish fry will be on Friday, September the 8th. It'll take place again at the Browning Training and Community Center from 5 until 8 p.m. Hope everybody can make it out to that and help support uh, one of these great and amazing volunteer fire department, uh, firefighters that we have in our fire departments. Thank you, Squire Aldridge. Squire Cummings. Well, I was not surprised at how well you've done today. So well, Thank you, Ron. Um, I appreciate you. Obviously, we want to send well wishes to Doug and his family and what's next for them. Prayers for those. Sheriff, I'm surprised you didn't take the opportunity to plug your the foundation event that's going to be taking place on September 9th. You wait, I mean, I mean, make sure I'm telling this correctly. It's Saturday, September the 9th at La Gala. Tick, are tickets still available? Tickets still available. So, if people to get out there and want to support that, it's a good thing. That's 200 registered right now. We're looking good. All right. Well, I just want to make sure we get to plug that for you. Um, the Boys Community Center is having their annual cakewalk and end of season kind of event on September the 23rd, Saturday. Uh, it's from six to eight out there at the Boys Community Center. If you've never been out at the Boys Community Center, it is definitely a great place to come out and hang it out. Really is. So, it really is. Uh, want to recognize one of our own here in, in the courtroom. Uh, a happy anniversary to James Markram. On August the 22nd, his bride was able to endure him for 43 years. Lord so I want to mercy. say congratulations. Hey, congratulations. That, that is an accomplishment. Sure, and certainly is. We have medals <laughs> ordered for her to, to be able to come and get sometime soon. And with that, I also want to be remiss not to say that I want to wish a happy anniversary to my wife, Daisha. She and I will be married 29 years on September 3rd. So congratulations, uh, she's buddy. endured that for me for that longer time too. And I know she deserves a medal for sure, but uh, <laughs> I want to say happy anniversary to her. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ron. Greg. Thank you, Esquire Lawrence. All right. County Attorney Milliken. You did a fantastic job. I knew you would. Thank uh, you. Judge Detective Gorman hates he cannot be here today. He's having a medical issue resolved and uh, thinks he'll be back with us tomorrow. So he's gonna he's gonna be right back at it, but he appreciates your service, so thank you. Ms. Cummings, do you have anything? Thank you. Deputy Judge. Thank you for uh, stepping in, filling in today. You did a fantastic job. Uh, wanted to thank Joe Tinnies for coming out and his presentation at the <laughs> Aviation Park. Shout out to Chris uh, Comer and her, his team. They got recognized this past weekend in New York, uh, National Tennis Facility of the Year. Is that correct? Um, so I looked like they had a great time in New York and a well deserved uh, recognition for your group. And so, two things shared today that just make our community even better. Than uh, it was previously, so thank you. Our next meeting will be um, Thursday, September the 14th at 9 a.m. I certainly expect our Judge Gorman to be sitting back here again. I look forward to him being back in court with us. I missed him today. Um, it's been, I've been doing the adjournment on the, on the meetings for a long, long time, but somebody else is going to have to do well, it I'm today. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a special note out of this because I've been keeping up with this. 
Uh, you had 173 consecutive votes to be the motion to adjourn court, and that streak ends today. It does. It I'm does. I'm sad for you, so I'm going to do this in honor of you. That when we do by acclamation, we're going to do an adjournment in, in honor of Tom Lawrence. But the streak, <laughs> the streak is over. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Ron. Thank you much. I'll second that. With that motion, that second, uh, this fiscal court meeting is adjourned. <laughs>